Hello and welcome to Run Testers. My name's Nick, and in this video, we're going to be comparing the Socony Triumph 21 and the Socony Ride 17. So the Ride and the Triumph are both long running lines within Socony's range. Like in the past, it's easy to divide them really as the Triumph as the premium cushion shoe that's got the most comfortable cushioning, the most stack height, that kind of thing. Whereas the Ride was more the daily trainer, almost the Pegasus of Socony's range, built to do a little bit of it all. But the updates to the Ride 17 have made it very similar to the Triumph 21. So we're gonna try and pick out what the differences are and which we'd recommend from the two. One of the big differences is the price. The Ride 17 is a lot cheaper at 135 pounds or $140, whereas the Triumph is 170 pounds or $160. The Ride 17 is a bit heavier than the Triumph, which is not something that we just said about previous versions of these shoes. The Ride 17 is 306 grams or 10.8 ounces in my UK size 9, whereas the Triumph 21 is 293 grams or 10.3 ounces. The Ride 17 is an 8mm drop, whereas the Triumph is a 10mm drop, with the stack heights being 37 at the heel in the Triumph and 27 at the forefoot, and then it's 35 and 27 in the Ride. So there's lots of similarities between these two shoes, as I mentioned, and the reason for that is that Socony added the Power Run Plus midsole and sock liner to the Ride 17, replacing the Power Run foam that had been using it in the past. You've obviously got Power Run Plus in the Triumph, so the midsoles are now very similar all round. You've got that slightly higher heel stack height in the Triumph and the slightly lower drop in the Ride, and then also actually the Ride is a bit wider, certainly around the midfoot, than the Triumph 21, which maybe adds a little bit more stability, although the Triumph itself is also pretty stable for a neutral shoe. You've got mesh uppers on both shoes that you've got a closer fit and more padding around the heel of the Triumph is something I noticed, and then actually the lace are a little bit different you've got almost these fabric eyelets on the uh, ride 17 you can see i've actually managed to rip one of those off where you've got the more traditional lacing system on the triumph and then you've got rubber outsoles on both shoes slightly more coverage around the midfoot there on the triumph and slightly different designs to the groove at the heel of each shoe it's a bit deeper and shorter on the triumph but broadly speaking quite similar outsoles on both shoes So the fit for me in these two shoes is quite similar. As you'd imagine, they're both Saucony shoes. They're both quite similar in the way that they're designed. I'm a size eight in the UK. These are both size eights in the UK. I found them to be very comfortable shoes. There's plenty of room before the toe in the forefoot in both of the shoes. The upper is quite plush in both of these, significantly more in the Triumph 21 than the um, Ride 17 but it's quite a similar upper. So there's plenty of room in the forefoot to move your feet around. It's quite a forgiving upper as well. So it's quite loose fitting, but it's also good for a nice lockdown fit. So very comfortable. Uh, I will stick to my size in both of these shoes. So a quick word on fit then. I ran in a UK eight and a half, which is my regular running shoe size in both of these shoes. I found the fit absolutely bang on on both of them. Really good lockdown across the midfoot. No slipping in the heels. They hold really nice. There's good amount of wiggle room in the toe box. If anything, the Ride 17 is probably a little bit more clearance of the uppers across the top of the toes that makes them feel a bit more airy and roomy. And you know, there's a bit more room to wiggle, which I really quite like. The uh, Triumph 21 feels a bit more dialed in, which is probably better if you're thinking about that might be used for sort of faster pace runs anyway. But overall, I would recommend going true to size in both of these shoes. So I have my normal running shoe size in both of these shoes. It's a UK 9. I've used across the Socony's range for many years and both of them fit me really well. Good amount of room in the toe box, nice hold around the heel and midfoot. Got a slightly closer, more noticeable fit at the heel in the Triumph 21, but neither shoe I found has irritated my heel or anything like that. You've got the more traditional lacing system on the Triumph. These fabric eyelets on the ride, I think are slightly flimsy as I've ripped one and I never rip those things. I don't yank my laces that hard. So that is one little thing I'd watch out for with the fit. Don't crank those laces on the, on the ride too hard. So I am a massive fan of the Triumph uh, 20 and the 21. It's a fantastic cushioned daily shoe. The midsole foam, this Paran uh, Plus is just a lovely, enjoyable, slightly bouncy midsole foam it's really nice for easy runs for recovery runs for long runs it's basically like the perfect daily shoe if your comfort and cushioning is your main focus whereas some of the shoes like the speed 3 is a great daily shoe but it skews more towards the faster side of running uh, this is really the other side so comfort cushioning but also has a little bit more versatility in it that midsole foam means that you can do lovely cruising miles i've used this shoe for quite a lot of uh, my longer runs so if i'm out there doing like a tempo run or just doing a 
16 miler, I would use the Triumph 21 just because it's comfortable and just delivers everything that you would want. So I think the Triumph 21 is just a brilliant shoe uh, and it's definitely one of, if not the best cushion shoes out there at the moment. The Ride 17 is an interesting one because the previous rides, the 15 and the 16, were fine. They just didn't really do a lot. The midsole foam in those shoes was pretty dull. Uh, the shoe itself was relatively versatile. It was a daily shoe that probably skewed a little bit more towards uh, doing shorter, maybe slightly faster efforts, but it didn't really do a lot. The midsole foam was pretty um, boring. Uh, and I never really enjoyed that shoe that much. Uh, the Ride 15 I actually used for a couple of races um, and some uh, track workouts, and I just found it just didn't feel like it was giving me anything back. It was relatively responsive because the foam was actually a little bit firmer than what you find in uh, a lot of daily shoes, but it just, just felt sluggish for me. It didn't really have anything. The foam didn't do a lot. The Ride 17 uses Power Run Plus, uh, same as the Socrates Triumph 21. It does feel slightly different for me in both of these shoes. It's a little bit firmer for me in the Ride 17, not massively. It feels like there's a nice bit of bounce in it. It feels like it's responsive. It's definitely getting significantly closer to the Triumph 21. Um, it, they're very, they feel very similar, actually, these shoes. I just think it just comes down to a little bit more firmness in the um Ride 17 for me, but not massively. It's not a firm shoe by any stretch of the imagination, especially in comparison to like the Ride 15 or the Ride 16. So I have used the Ride 17 for a few runs now. So I've done uh, interval session in it. I have done park run in it, um, and I have done uh, about up to about 15k in this shoe uh, in easy runs. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it. I never said that about the 15 and 16. They were fine. They just didn't really do anything for me. Whereas the Ride 17 is getting significantly closer to the, the Triumph 21. Very similar stack heights in these shoes, same foam, um, and they're almost doing the same sort of thing now. The only difference I would say is that I just think that the Triumph 21 is a little bit softer, a little bit bouncier for me, and just a little bit more comfortable. It's a bit, it's a bit plusher, there's more cushioning. It's just a better shoe for me all over when it comes to those sort of comfortable miles. But I do think the Ride 17 has got a little bit more of um, versatility to it. I think you can go a little bit faster in this shoe uh, and it just it skews a little bit more towards those more responsive efforts than the Triumph 21 for me. Um, it's not a particularly light shoe though, so it's not like a fast daily trainer. It's just daily shoe that really just skews more towards the um, slightly firmer, more responsive side than the Triumph 21 for me. Other thing to say as well is that the outsole on these is pretty much identical, which I think is a fantastic outsole. I didn't have any issues with slipping in either of these shoes, and I've used them for quite a lot of wet runs around Brighton. So very similar on that on that way uh, that they're both got great outsoles on them. So um, very impressed all over basically with both of these shoes. So then for my run tests, I've done many more miles in the Triumph 21, which has become one of my go-to every run shoes. I've now done around 35 miles in the Ride 17. I've done a mix of paces in both shoes and covered different terrain, including roads and off-road light river paths and park paths. I've run up to 120 minutes, a long run in both of these shoes as well. Oh, and I did an all out 5K sort of sub 20 minute treadmill run in the Ride 17 as well. I also did a side-by-side -side mile to compare how the shoes feel when they're on the feet, and here is what I found. So I've just done my side-by-side -side mile. I've got the Ride 17 on the left foot. I have got the Triumph 21 on the right foot. Initially, I thought these shoes would ride fairly similar. That was gonna be my gut reaction anyway. But having put them both on now, there are some differences here that are really important. One is that with the Ride 17, you're getting a wider base in the heel and in the forefoot on the landings. At least that's how it feels. Pretty sure if you measure them up, you're gonna get more across the base of the foot, a bigger platform to land on. That platform is also lower stack and you do notice it, but it's also softer. That's the key thing here. It sinks much, much more than the Triumph 21. It's a noticeable difference when you've got them side by side like this. You might not pick it up quite so much when you're running you know, in just one of the pairs of shoes. And I think both of these can cover similar runs. What you're gonna get here though, I think overall, is that the ride offers you a little bit more cushion protection and softness, whereas the Triumph 21 will feel a little bit more energetic, a bit more racy, if you like. That Power Run Plus stack of foam that's got more in the heel, same in the forefoot, I think it just comes back a little bit more immediately. So it stiffens up a bit quicker than the Ride 17s, which just cushions your landing a little bit more. That means you have to work ever so slightly harder to get back out 
I think. And so in terms of overall responsiveness, I think the Triumph 21 are going to win here. And they are going to be the shoe that overall for faster pace runs are going to do better than the Ride 17. What I will say though, is that in terms of comfort on the foot, I think they're both on par here. I think secretly I was hoping that the Ride 17 were going to be an easy replacement for the 21 to tell you all that you can save yourselves a bit of cash. But those differences, they, they are noticeable and they will make a difference to the ride overall. I think there's a little bit more punch in the Triumph 21, but that immediacy makes them a little bit better at the faster paces. I think to a certain extent you do notice the extra weight on the shoe, or at least the Ride 17 just feels like a bigger overall shoe on the foot, whereas the Triumph, they just give you a little bit of extra kind of agility, precision, they're just a touch more nimble. It's not a huge difference here, and I'm pretty sure you can do all the same runs in both of these shoes. It's just probably that the Ride 17 are gonna be better equipped for the sort of slower stuff up to your marathon pace, whereas the Triumph 21 are gonna be a hand, able to handle the slower stuff, but are probably gonna be better if you really wanna go out and kick up the pace to marathon pace and beyond. So I've done a mix of training in both shoes, like long runs, easy runs, some slightly faster stuff. I tend to think of both of these shoes as cushion shoes for easy runs mainly. A little bit of versatility there. Like in my rotation, they'd certainly be the cushion shoe. I think if you were maybe a newer runner, you could use these as really good all-rounders potentially. But for me, they're very much shoes that I prefer mainly for easy running. The foam is really good and it's the same in both shoes. That Power Run Plus foam is which is a really well-balanced foam. It's not really soft and squishy, but it is comfortable. It gives you a little bit back. It creates a stable ride and an enjoyable ride for ticking off runs. And it feels the same for outruns. At the end of a long run, you're still getting that same resiliency and bounce back. It doesn't really compress or lose any of its uh, liveliness over the course of a longer run. Triumph 21 feels slightly better at pace to me. I think it's a slightly lighter, more nimble shoe, but Overall, when running in both shoes, I'd say I didn't really notice a huge difference. You've got, you've got slightly more foam at the heel of the Triumph and that slightly higher drop, but as a heel striker, maybe that's why I prefer the shoe slightly, but really when I was running in them, both of them at the same time, it, I didn't really notice a big difference between them in terms of the ride feel, even with that slightly lower drop on the ride. The width, I'd say, on the ride is a bit more noticeable. Like you, think you can notice that you get a bit more ground contact with the ride, and maybe that's why it was just a little bit bottom heavy to me at times, and even though the difference in weight really isn't very much between these two shoes, I think the Ride 17 does feel like a noticeably bigger and heavier shoe even if the difference is very small it does feel that little bit bigger and less versatile to me than the triumph but i'd use them both for the same kind of runs it doesn't really amount to much in practice i'd say okay so my verdict on the Saucony triumph 21 and the ride 17 is i would in previous versions i would never have compared these two shoes just because the ride just didn't do anything that the 21 was doing now now it's got the same midsole foam in now it's got the same sort of stack height in it it's a very difficult pair of shoes to, to, to look at because they're essentially on paper very, very similar. What I would say is the difference is in the comfort and cushioning of the Triumph 21. So it just feels a little bit softer for me, there's a little bit more bounce in it for me, that, that it's a plusher shoe, it's a more comfortable shoe. You just get a lot more from it if your focus is that cushioning and comfort. The Ride 17 is getting very close to the Triumph 21 now. Uh, it's just, for me, little bit lower in terms of comfort so you're probably going to be able to do all the same things that you can do in the Triumph 21 it's just not quite as good for me when it comes to that sort of cushioning and comfort but it's still a fantastic shoe and for the price it I'd probably say I'm going to go for the Ride 17 but overall I think the Saucony Triumph 21 is the better shoe but you've got to weigh up the, the, the cost of the shoe f f uh, when you're comparing these two things. But it's getting very close now. It's, it's a fantastic update to the Ride 17. Really think it's a great shoe now. And I'm actually picking it up quite a bit for daily runs, whereas the previous rides, I, I didn't really want to pick those shoes up just because they just didn't deliver anything for me. But I love the midsole in this. Um, but overall, Triumph 21 is still one of my favourite shoes out there at the moment. I think it's absolutely fantastic. My verdict then, well, these are two very good shoes that offer similarly pleasing levels of comfort and a good natural disappearing feel on the foot. Which shoe you choose though is gonna boil down to whether or not you want a daily trainer that's tuned to slightly faster or one that's tuned to be slightly more protective. Both shoes have the versatility to handle pretty much all of your daily miles from the slow and easy up to the up-tempo speeds, up to marathon pace and even beyond in some cases. But the Triumph 21, for me anyway, I think coat better from the middle to the top end, whereas the Ride 17 probably coat better from the middle to the lower end. However, you can run fast in the Ride 17, 
and you can run slow in the Triumph 21. They're both still good for those things at either end, just not quite as good at it as each other. The Ride 17 offers a bigger, softer, more stable platform. The Triumph 21 is a bit more responsive, immediate, punchy, it's a bit more agile and precise. So which would I recommend? Well, if you're on a budget, I'd say go for the Ride 17. If you own the Triumph 21, you don't need the Ride 17, I don't think. If you prioritize snappiness and speed, the Triumph 21 probably edges it. If you want more protection and stability, go for the Ride 17. Which shoe would I choose? Well, I'm quite torn to be honest. I think the Ride 17 offers much better value. It's a wonderfully versatile shoe at a really competitive price in that daily trainer bracket. I've also got shoes in my rotation that will cover the faster, shorter miles that the Triumph 21 might do best at. So if you have that, I think that's one consideration. So I'm drawn to the Ride 17. On the flip, I think the Triumph 21 is probably the better shoe for my overall style, a bit firmer, a bit more responsive. And I can run in slightly less protective shoes, so I can get away with them how they run when they're slower. But money always comes into it. And I think on balance, the Ride 17 edges it because of the value it offers. I also think it will better suit a wider range of runners. So I'm going to be recommending the Ride 17. The Ride 17 is clearly coming in to take the Triumph spot in Socony's lineup, and it's good that it's doing so at a lower price. You've now got a really good cushioned cruiser of a shoe from Socony that's cheaper than the Triumph. We'll see what happens to the Triumph line next year, but if I was just picking between these two shoes right now, I'd get the Ride 17 as it is cheaper than the Triumph and you know very similar in nearly all the main respects. So if you found them at the same price, I would pick up the Triumph. I think I do slightly prefer the feeling of it, but it, it is a really slight thing, and maybe that's just down to having the Triumph more and have used it for slightly more running over the course of the year. I've worn to it slightly more but really they do the same job well which is to be a cushioned cruiser that for me would be something I'd use mainly for easy and long runs but they do both have the capability to be used as an all-rounder and as I mentioned if I was a newer runner these would be among the top shoes I'd be considering as an all-rounder to use like when I first started out running I used the Triumph line a lot and I do think they are cushion shoes that are more versatile than a lot of cushion shoes out there but overall picking between them i'd get the ride 17 because it's cheaper at the same price i'd probably just lean towards the triumph as i slightly prefer the ride field but really isn't much in it at all It'd be very interesting to see what happens with the triumph 22 next year if Sockney pops in some power run pb foam to differentiate it again from the ride 17 but for now yeah very similar shoes That's our comparison of the Ride 17 and the Triumph 21. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Please do like and subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time.